It's a 2300 page bill to begin with. Any bill that's that large is never perfect to begin with. You've got to be in a position to make changes. They've not allowed any changes over the last uh, six years. Our recommendations are that we should take a look at it in a business-like manner and figure out how we can make uh, capital more affordable to folks that need to borrow money. Uh, right now, the challenge is banks are always going to be able to make a profit, but they do it at the expense of consumers, and consumers are the ones that pay the bill. So if you've got regulations in place that make it harder to borrow money, or if you make it so that the cost of money is, is, is greater, it all comes back down to what's best for consumers. We think uh, the Dodd-Frank Act has made it more difficult for businesses to be able to borrow money, and that means when you're trying to set up a business or to grow a business, capital is more difficult. So, Senator, have you looked at the data? Because one of the things the supporters keep saying is, you know what? Lending growth in commercial banks is pretty solid, about 7%. When they look at the NFIB survey, they say, you know what? Very few small businesses are complaining about the lack of availability of capital right now. So it's sort of hard to say statistically or in the data, where, where's the problem? Well, I, I would actually kind of disagree with that because if you look anecdotally at what individuals are telling us is, is that there's money available. It's just a matter of qualifying for it. In the central part of the, uh, of the United States, South Dakota is an example. If you want to get money for a home, yeah, you can get an inexpensive rate, but trying to qualify for a mortgage sometimes is next to impossible simply because the appraisal uh, uh, rules and so forth make it very difficult to actually qualify for right. those. So what we're talking about is, is let's simplify it. Let's get rid of the stuff that's not necessary. Let's allow those banks that have got money to, to lend, uh, sure. allow them to do it. Allow them, rather than telling them how to do it, tell them what the rules are. Senator. You know, yeah, let, let, me, let me just make sure we get, we, I want to just make sure we cover this other area here. Uh, over in the House, Jeb Hensling, the head of financial services, had a bill last year called his Choice Act. Simple capital ratio, raised it up high, and you don't have to deal with the regulators. Didn't, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's didn't one find of the good... a lot, find a lot of love in the Senate. Will it, will it, will it now? Well, I, I think that's one that we're going to take a hard look at because he also wants to repeal the Volcker rule as part of it. But the idea that you actually go to a bank and say, look, Here's a safe harbor. If you want to leave more capital within the bank, you can get rid of some of the regulatory excess that we've got out there. That's one option, and it's one that I think we'll take a hard look at. Yeah, it would be a lot simpler. Senator Michelle here. Uh, other topic, kind of related, the border adjustment tax that Chairman Kevin Brady is talking about. You on board with it? Not at this time, no. Look, you're talking about uh, anytime we're moving stuff back and forth across the border and it, and it impacts... Uh, farmers and ranchers, one area where we want to have good export opportunities, but you're also talking about folks that are consuming in the United States that have benefited from the uh, inexpensive uh, imports. You're really talking about a major change in the United States in terms of who pays the bills. And so anytime we start talking about how we're going to regulate uh, uh, products going out and products coming in, we better darn well know what the impact on the economy is before we start making major changes. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.